To render React components on the server, we're going to use the React DOM server package. To be able to use this React DOM server, we're going to have to import React itself first, and we'll also need to import React DOM server from React DOM slash server. And we also need our own React application. So we're going to import app from dot slash source components app.js. This is the top level of our React application. And then in here, we can use React DOM server dot render to string and give it our own component, just like that. This would read the React code and renders everything to string. So let's go back and take a look at our React component. And you'll remember that our React component depends on the state to load the data. So there is no way for me to pass the data in here to the React component to pre-render the component with data. So that's not gonna work. The code of this component right now is not very friendly for server render. And what we need to do, we wanna make this component able to render the contests using initial data here. So let's go with initial contests. And by default, we can pass this as an empty array here. And then in the app component, instead of hard coding this, we can start this using this.props.initialContests. This way, the React application on the front end will continue to work exactly as it was, an empty array, and then it loads through the state. However, if another code that's rendering the same component actually specify an initial contest's values, then the application will render with initial data. So the initial contests here is something that we want to read from the response. So it's response.data.contests, just like that. Let me put that in multiple lines. So React DOM server render to string, the app component initialized with actual data. Cool. So this is the exact string that I want to feed to the EJS template. However, this string is inside a promise. This whole call returns a promise. So I can't use it directly. What we can do is let's return this value from the then and let's wrap all this call in a function. Call this function server render. This is a function that basically returns a promise just like that. And we're going to go ahead and export default this function server render. So now back in server.js, instead of importing this directly, we're going to import server render from server render. And server render would be a function, so we can call it as a function. Server render is a function. And this function returns a promise. So I can do dot then on this promise, just like I did before. I also need to do dot catch, just in case something is wrong with the promise. And in here, we can just do console.error. And what I want to do inside the then, this promise actually give me the content that I want to feed to the EJS template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this call here and I'm going to put it inside then. And when I do have the content, go ahead and render it just like that. So I think we can test. So there is an error because I can't spell components. Let's test. Looks like the uh, server is listening and we can redo this command to test. And look at that. I can see the data now and it's coming directly from React DOM server. So basically, we can render our application now with JavaScript disabled. And it's actually rendering HTML. And here's the cool thing. We can enable JavaScript, render our application. The initial data is going to come from HTML. And then React is going to take over and re-render the content for us. However, there is a problem. And it's clearly communicated here. So the problem is, let me actually simulate this problem for you in the app component. Right before we render, I'm going to put a debugger line. So here's the problem. When I receive a response from the server, that response has an actual DOM, even before I render anything from the React component itself. However, when I hit play, React is going to render an empty list of name contests because by default, it's taking the initial contests from index.js, which has an empty list of contests. So we're going from a full list of contests into an empty list of contests when I hit play. And after that, React is going to go back to the server, fetch the list of contests again, and put it back in the DOM. This is why we're getting this error. 
as you can see in this second render call, after we fetched the data, React actually wiped the naming contests clean. So now we have an empty list of contests rendered in the page and we went back to the server to read the data and now we're gonna re-render the data. So React is not really fully benefiting from the server rendering that we did. And in the next movie, we're gonna fix this problem.